A, had our bumps, but Falcons go up to Seattle, pick up the win, first win of the season, we're one and two now, same record as the Yanks, <laughs> but A, Falcons offense looked really good today, I gotta say, you finally get Kyle Pitts involved, not as much as I would have liked to see, I still feel like you could have gotten him involved more in the second half, but Falcons win. Cordell Patterson is that fucking dude. He is no doubt the best player on this offense. Carried the team today big time. He came in clutch. Drake London came in clutch with that touchdown. And the Falcons are able to pick up the win. It wasn't pretty. The defense, I still think, has a lot of stuff to work on. Especially the pass and run defense, really. The defense didn't really look all that good today. But... Even they got better in the second half, only allowing three points in the second half. And Richie Grant, first NFL interception, the game-winning interception to seal the deal. Falcons win in Seattle. And hopefully, you know, this is where we take back control of our season. Mariota looked good today, and I think he's brought himself at least maybe two more games to where, you know, his job is safe. However... You know, you still have, he still has stuff to work on. Obviously, that interception at the end of the first half didn't really mean much. But still, you know, that could have been disaster if Hesse wasn't there to tackle that guy. Uh, I believe he fumbled the ball. Well, actually, he was ha trying to hand it off to Algier. And, you know, it was just bad communication. But, hey, Mariota looked good at the end of the day. Getting it to Kyle Pitts in the first half getting it to Drake London when he needed to. Uh, he showed that he's not afraid to sling the ball today, which, I mean, you really got to look and say is impressive nonetheless. So, we still got stuff to work on. Got the Cleveland Browns next Sunday. I'll be at the game. Uh, and the defense, they got to get their shit together. If we want to beat the Cleveland Browns, we have to stop Nick Chubb. I'll talk about it more in my video this week. You got to stop Nick Chubb. And you got to be able to make plays on defense in the first and second half. But the Falcons were able to finish off the game. Gave a little scare when they fumbled the ball. Gave it back to Seattle. But we're able to finish off the game. That's all you can ask for. A win is a win. And we will take it one and two on the season. And really now, I'm going to take it game to game. That's really the mentality I have. Take it game to game. See what they do next Sunday. Hope that we can get to 500. Then we'll really see where they went, go from here. I got the end of the Tampa Bay-Green Bay game on. Tampa Bay just lost to the Green Bay Packers. So, we're only one game back in the division from Tampa Bay. But, to be fair, the Saints and Panthers also are as well. But... It's now game to game with the Falcons. Nice to see them get this win in Seattle. Offense looked good. Defense has to improve, but came clutch at the end. And hey, you know, if the Falcons can do this every game on offense and they get better on defense, you know, we might we might be able to get seven or eight wins. So, but hey, we'll see what happens the rest of the season. Nice to get win number one here in Seattle, and I'm out.